The Georgia Triangles Variety Station 95.1, the Peak FM. Online at thepeakfm.com. In fact, I uh, pose a question in my blog today. Who on earth would ever let me drive an ATV? And that man is right here. Mark, how are you today? Good, Matt. How are you doing? Hey, no complaints. Uh, so what is your official title? I am the marketing director for the Ontario Federation of All-Terrain Vehicle Clubs, otherwise known as OFATV. All right. Now, we've got uh, a big ride coming up, uh, the Mike Holmes Charity ATV Ride, June 2nd. Um, and in my blog today, not only do I, I post links to the ride, but also I put some pictures of, uh, well, you took me out on, on Good Friday, and uh, I put a picture of, of you just covered in mud and me almost squeaky clean. <laughs> so, <laughs> for the time being. Yes, for the time. Yes, that's right. Uh, so we're going to chat a little bit more about that in just a bit. We'll also uh, highlight the uh, the Mike Holmes charity ride. But uh, if you want to get caught up, you can go to my blog today. It's online at thepeakfm.com. And uh, also links for you to, uh, to sponsor me. Um, Mark, I've set my goal for $100. But I've said if I raise $500, i will do the whole ride in a dress. You're kidding. No, I, I swear. So if we get 500 bucks for the Mike Holmes Foundation, I'll be heading out there in a dress. Uh, I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> uh, Michael Bublé is coming up. We'll chat with Mark in just a bit. Uh, Tears for Fears with Shout, uh, 95.1 The Peak. OFA TV, the Ontario Federation of All-Terrain Vehicle Clubs. Uh, we were just talking about the uh, Mike Holmes ride coming up June 2nd. Uh, what do we need to know about this ride? Well, first of all, we need to get everybody pre-registered this year. Uh, We do have the ride capped at 250 participants. So uh, if you want to participate, it's a a great event. You need to get to the OFATV website, which is www.ofatv.org. Follow links for the Holmes ride. Get signed up. It'll uh, create your own profile on there, and you can link it to Facebook and Twitter, and you can get some pledges, everything going towards the Holmes Foundation. And one of the things I noticed, which I thought was very cool, and we talked about on Friday, was that uh, they have tips on fundraising. Absolutely, which, yeah. you know, a lot of places just say, okay, go raise some money, and, and you're on your own. No, they, they give you the tips, they give you the tools. Uh, we're, we're really looking forward to this being a lot more successful than the old method of asking you to go and knock on your friend's doors. Mm-hmm. And, and uh, which involves driving around and such. So this is a, an electronic means. Uh, you, may, you actually make it a lot easier for your friends and family to uh, to donate some money, you know, 20, 40 bucks towards a, a great foundation. And it is uh, in support of the Mike Holmes Foundation. The mission of the foundation is to ensure that all residential renovation and construction in the country is done right the first time. Uh, another thing they do is uh, they fund uh, and support the training of youth and skilled trades. Uh, they do apprenticeships, uh, scholarships, and bursaries. Uh, once again, you can go to the uh, Ontario Federation of All-Terrain Vehicle Clubs website. That's OFATV.org, thepeakfm.com, my blog. There's pictures on there of uh, Mark getting stuck in the mud. And, and Matt driving right past me. What? <laughs> Not offering to help at all. <laughs> uh, what else, is that it? Do we need to know anything else? Uh, well, just want to mention that uh, this year the, the ride is in a different location than it has been in the past, which was on Base Borden. This year we have the privilege of hosting the ride on one of the OFA TV club trails. The, uh, the local club to this area, in fact, Central Ontario ATV Club, uh, the trail is right in the heart of Springwater. Uh, we're going to be uh, making some use of some designated trails in the county of Simcoe. So this is a, a lot of people put together to make this happen, a lot of different organizations. We've got uh, some great sponsors this year. Bombardier Recreational Products has uh, be, be on hand with a fleet of vehicles for the VIPs for Mike and his crew. Uh, Horseshoe Valley Resort has been uh, instrumental in offering places for people to stay and the venue for the reception afterwards. Saputo Foods has uh, donated generously, as well as Milwaukee Tools with some prizes and so on. Excellent. And, uh, you know, if, if you haven't been on an ATV, I highly recommend you do so because uh, the beauty that our backyard has to offer, some of the great spots you could only get to by, by ATV. So uh, definitely worth checking out, OFATV.org or thepeakfm.com. Check out my blog. Links and information in there as well. And, uh, Mark, thanks again for taking me out and uh, introducing me to this, uh, this sport, really, that I had no knowledge of. 
Well, you you did really well for your first time. Uh, we did kind of spoil you. Uh, we were uh, fortunate enough to have Polaris donate uh, an ATV for you for the day, a Sportsman 550 XP Touring with power steering, courtesy of Central Ontario Power Sports and Polaris. So uh, it, it, we, we had you on the cream of the cream, and you did a really good job. You caught on real quick, and uh, as I say, uh, there was a spot. I, I have to admit, and I don't like admitting this, <laughs> but uh, I, I did get myself stuck. I was in the process of winching out, and uh, Matt, for some reason, you had it all figured out. You, you put your weight where you were supposed to, and you got through it without any help at all. So hats off to you. I think it's, it's just instincts. That's what it is. <laughs>